Right, part three. Are you going to move, madam? You're going to have to get down. That's a good girl. Down you get. She's on a right one today. I don't know what's up with her. Right, okie dokie. So, um, yeah, I have stitched on my flower. As you see there, a few buttons there, a few buttons there. I've done the three on the back. I stitched the circles on and then I just used the button to anchor these ones. Okay, so that's those. Okay, I've just pinned them together. They are not stitched. So that's the inside, whoop, inside of the front cover. This is the one with the pocket. So I've just done the two pockets out of that meshy fabric. And I backed that one with felt as well. I've changed the black pocket, uh, the scissor pocket. The, um, I thought the black was too much because there's a lot of black in this already. So I've sort of backed it with this purple one. My scissors fit in there beautifully. This is a bit of an old um, vintage hanky, basically. And I cut the triangle so that it fit the hand stitching on there. What is that? A uh, bit of thread. Right, OK, that's fine. All right, so that's that. And then that's the middle page okay let's just go back to my prototype or my original i should say the i've put wording on here and i literally just stamped on pieces of scrap fabric with um, letter stamps basically i've not put anything like a ribbon or elastic or anything here i've just literally used the felt to put the needles through in a orderly fashion all right so that that's all I've done. If you want to put a strip of lace there for your needles to slip under, beautiful, lovely. You do you do you that you 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 know you put as much into this as you want, all right. So um yeah, so I've got me that's my middle main page. I've got my scissor keeper. I didn't put anything on the other side. Um I don't know. I don't know what I'll use that for. Well, I won't use it. I'll probably put this one up for sale, but um you could just stitch on a bit of felt there if you wanted to and have extra needle space or pin space. It's up to you. Um, there's the next page, I say, with pockets. Again, here, you could choose to put another piece of felt if you wanted or um, you could make a massive pocket for keeping a notebook in. Completely up to you. OK, as I say, I've not used all of my pages. That one's not used. That one's not used, just the ones with the pockets, really. And I haven't used that one. This front one, I tend to dump pins in here and needles rather. Uh, no, pins. Um, yeah, so, you know, you'll, I've, I've no doubt you'll find a use for it. You adapt this to your needs, OK? Right. So, now then, what I've done is I've put them all, um, you know, one inside the other. I've lined up the two inner pages, if you like. OK, uh, yeah, with the top there. All right. And then folded them over. OK, as orderly as possible. All right. So what we need to do now is put in our little tabs because I like the little tabs. You don't have to do this. You could use paper. You could use card. I've got this stiff felt, quite a nice stiff felt. All right. So. Um, I started the first one down the bottom and this is why I told you not to stitch your pages together because we're going to slip these in here okay and we're going to put a pin and when we stitch our pages together we're going to stitch those in at the same time about half and half literally by eye all right and then the next one which is the next like the inner pages if you like just find there. Of course, I put a pin there, have I? No. Okay, and then you're just gonna. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. Just stack. I'm gonna stagger them up here. All right. So that one's done. Let's just pin that one in place. You could on here if you wanted to write, you know, what, what's on each page. It's completely customisable to what you need. OK, so there's the next page there. Let's just see how that's looking. 
Yep, that's fine. It's a little bit fiddly, but once it's done, it's done. And you can just stitch these in when you do the uh, edges of your page. Right, so the last one goes right at the on the back page, in between the front and back. Not worried if they stick out past the cover, that's fine. Really not worried at all. Right, so that's the last one there. And that's why I said don't stitch your pages together. I guess you could all but this side, I suppose, you could have done, but it's easier if you just leave it all open. All right, so we just need to stitch that all together. Um, and then basically we'll do the spine. So I'll pause you, I'll stitch the pages, we'll come back and, and um, you can do the front and um, the front cover in its lining now as well. So you can literally, as I say, I raw edge all mine. Okay, and I've done, I, I, I think I went around about three times with quite a close zigzag. Um, if you've got um, an overstitch or an overlocker, well, I don't have a, yeah, overlockers are all right, but they, I don't know, they're quite big, aren't they? But anyway, um, yeah, just bind your edges, basically. You can you can put bias binding on if you don't like raw edge. Again, you do you. I'll be back in a moment. I'll just get these stitched. Right, we're back. Of course the bobbin ran out and of course the thread snapped and... <laughs> Anyway, not to worry. Okay, so, um, oh, strings everywhere again. Yeah, so I have zigzagged round. Um, I've done quite a close zigzag because I've got, as you can see, probably uh, material that wanted to fray as soon as you looked at it. So, um, I'll get all these bits off in a minute. So, this is the, like that, like that. So that's the inner page. You can tell that from where the tabs are situated. Okay, and then the cover. Yeah, I think I would definitely add some more pockets on there before I stitched it together. But, um, oh, if you're interested in these threads, um, they're a little bit, I love them. They're a cheap pack you can get off eBay if you really want to know. They're, you know, they're really sort of wacky colours. Unfortunately, they only sell them in these little spools, which is slightly annoying because I would buy big cones of those if they sold it but um i have asked them but uh, it's china <laughs> probably so um yeah they never get back to you so yeah i'm just going to tidy up some of these bits everywhere um yeah i think the fabrics i use the furnishing fabrics in particular were quite um uh fraying stuff basically right okay let's get this all lined up because we'll stitch our centre spine now. Now you can sew it in by hand if you want to. Completely up to you. Okay. Bits, 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 bits. Right, I'm just going to put... I've no idea where the centre is. I'm just going to do it like this for a minute. Flip it over and then we can see where our centre is. Now don't skimp on your spine, okay? Because you've got to allow for all the stuff that's going in it. So you don't want to get it too pinched. What I did with mine, I stitched, I think... Well, I did just go straight down, but I think on one of them... Yeah, I left about, what's that, about a centimetre, say half an inch there and then stitch that one down and then stitch that one inside that one. So you can either do it all at once or one at a time. So uh, maybe, no, I'm going to do it all at once, it's fine. Let's just do it all at once. That seems to have moved. Great. Did it move when I pinned it? Yeah, as I say, if you don't like the raw edge, uh, and I know some people really don't, so bind it, bias binding. Um, yeah, put in your extra pockets, put in your extra little, um, you know, uh, ugh, if you want special little, you know, if you've got some speciality needles and you want to put in some little mini ones of these, then do it. 
go for it you you do what you need that that one there fulfilled my needs right so let's see if we can get this to fold let's see if we can get some sort of centering going on Yeah, don't go too tight so there we are I think that's all right all right okay all right just want to get a rough idea it is basically where those pins are that one needs to come over slightly to about there check it again just check 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 until you, before you sew just make sure you're happy with that if it's laying where you want it to lay and then just have a quick peek yep so those pins are exactly where i need to do a straight line so i should do that live um hoping i've got enough thread <laughs> i did redo it okay so I'm just going to slow it down a bit because I'm going through a lot of fabric here, so it's probably not going to like it very much, but I'm going to trust that the machine's going to go in a straight line. I'll be back with you in two ticks. I've got a fairly strong needle on here I think it was a jeans one I tend to stitch with that because I am quite harsh on my machine so um, just going slightly off kilter there let's just wangle you back under sorry I can't I don't want to change the camera or the angle otherwise you'll get seasick and it will fly everywhere call a stab stitch on my machine I don't know if yours does that it um, it's a like a locking stitch so you haven't got to worry about snipping your threads up close basically so right so there we are it is done right you can go up with another if you want to you could go either side of that and make a you know quite a wider um, spine there if you want to um completely up to you but it now works as a little needle book and all it needs now is needles but it's lovely and squishy it's um yeah it's it's great they're great little books i love them i think you know for me it's been really great to know that i can just pick up the one thing and everything's in there basically so yeah well, I hope you enjoy making yours. Any questions? Um, I say it's been a while since I made this, so um, it took me a little while to think about how to film this, and I thought the only way to do it really was in three parts because it's, you know, three separate. Well, are they separate? Anyway, um, I've got a bit there and I can't find it. Where are you? There you are. Uh, yeah three separate stages that's the word so um yeah tabs or not tabs completely up to you i like them you know if nothing else for the decorativeness um yeah so as i say put your pins in put your scissors in i've just you know made that to my scissor size you do yours pockets there for all your bits and bobs the only other thing that i was going to do on mine or this one i should say this isn't mine um is just to put some buttons down the spine and i wanted to get the spine on first well you can't do it anyway and then I, I think i'll just stitch these buttons on here i think that'd be quite fun these are just plastic ones out of my um stash of buttons let's move you down there yeah so i think i'll just stitch those on there and i think that'll be quite pretty so yeah Go for it. Hope you enjoy it. 
uh yeah just leave me any messages any comments if you've got any queries i think this is pretty self-explanatory i'll be honest with one of you and um you know if you're used to working with fabrics you know what to do with this stuff so that's it my lovelies have a good day bye